All right. This is to show people how to integrate the modular component, the modular construction tool into your projects. So I'm going to make a project. I'm going to call it Fuzzy. Make sure it's C++. Fuzzy. Create project. While that's doing that, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go and get those files that are somewhere. <laughs> there we go. Contents, mesh lib. This one, and I'm going to extract this. Oops. Extract this here. Extract these two separate folders. All right. First things first. Going to fuzzy. Going to content. And I'm going to drop this into here for the modular house. Blink. Then I'm going to take these, cut them all, go back to fuzzy source. Went the wrong way. Apparently, I can't read. I'm going to drop these right here in the fuzzy. Inside the CQP. I'm going to go to source. Fuzzy. And then I'm going to add those files. Add existing items. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And all of these to our project. We're gonna have to go to every CPP since the main the main header for our project is fuzzy.h. We're gonna replace that fuzzy. Fuzzy and fuzzy. Also, if we look at our header files, this is no longer the RPG system API. This is the fuzzy API. Unless I mess something up, that should be fuzzy. So. Do that here and this here. Compile that. I think I'll get one error. Static component. So let's go to the API. Let's just Google this. Go to the API. All the way to the bottom. Copy this header. Include it. Oh, 
Somehow. Wonderful compound time. All right, fuzzy's loaded. We have our marginal house parts. We've got all classes. Let's just see these three objects. Gonna make a blueprint of them. Bear with me, this is my first time actually using this, using these 4.72, things look a little bit different, just a little bit. Project building, call this uh, standard building. Building. All right, I spelled building wrong. All right, so we're just going to open this up before we drop into the field. This looks different too. Jeez. All right then. So I guess everything that was in default is now in the details. So we go in here, need to add about 13 elements. I'm gonna cheat a little, look at my define list. So these are our 13 elements in our array for the different parts. Filters, static mesh. Link. And then we'll just start filling this in. We got the floor. That's new. All right. So we got the floor. We got the internal corner. Internal wall. That's a door. Get the external corner, get the external wall. I think I forgot the door. Yep, internal door. We got the corner, wall, and the door for the external. Then we have window type one and two. Of course, they can be changed to whatever you want. Have fun. The roof side. Rooftop, which I really don't have, so I'm just gonna put a floor. An outer corner, which is just the edge. And then an the inner corner, which is for inside angles. And that should be it. I got rid of my content panel. Reset layout. Save. Wow, reset layout closes the whole thing. Nice to know. Okay. Alright, so I should have my blueprint here. Turn that off. So I have my standard building. Project that out. I have my meshes. 
I guess the material links are messed up. There we go. I have building. So this should be the fully integration of those CPP files and the assets into the latest engine. Hope that helps everybody. Have a nice day.